from the Bob Mills Weather Center, the Oklahoma weather expert, Travis Meyer. Well, around eastern Oklahoma, freeze warning is in effect, and we're going to talk about that in a minute. But right now, I'm showing you a satellite picture that's showing up from Kansas. This is Kansas City. Uh, Tulsa here, Oklahoma City here, but notice the smoke up here. This is a Flint Hills of eastern Kansas. That's big rangelands, and they do the same thing in Osage County. You see a couple of our fires and some of the smoke plumes not going over Tulsa. Those are headed out of Osage County and headed back into central portions of the state because of the prevailing winds that are of today. Uh, so that gives you a pretty good idea of what's going on. All right, tonight, drillers getting ready to play a little bit. Temperatures will be in the 50s this evening in Tulsa. If you're in outlying areas, it's going to become a cold, cold night. Biggest thing that we're dealing with right now is the fact that we're dealing with the fact we've had some good rains southeast of Tulsa. Basically not much going on in Bartlesville and nothing to speak of as you head on out to the west. It has been awful. As we look into the future for the next 10 days, there isn't a whole lot of great rains coming up. We need a lot of great rain because the drought is horrible. We do have a couple places that could come up to an inch or more in a few areas of West Texas and then also up into Kansas based on the new data. Speaking of uh, new data, how many days has it been since it's rained a quarter inch at one time? Out in the panhandle, we're up to 219 days after midnight tonight. It'll be 220, 50 in Stillwater. Now, we had the rain uh, in Bartlesville this week, but it's an interesting situation going on there because the drought situation is horrible. And Bartlesville is a dividing place. Uh, I was at a Qantas meeting yesterday, and we were talking about all the folks that have rain in their, and water in their ponds off to the east. You get on the west side of Bartlesville, there hasn't been anything. In Osage County, nothing. Ponca City, nothing. This is Jim Sweezy uh, from up in Bartlesville. He's on the west side of town, says there hasn't been any water running in. In. So I've had enough to maybe get things turning a little bit grass green. There's no water. And on the southeast side of Tulsa, the rain is just uh, water continues to just seep on through. As far as our temperatures, it's a great night for the first night of baseball. Little on the chilly side with that north-northeast wind at 13 miles per hour. We're in the 60s and upper 50s at this time. And as we go through tonight in the morning hours, it'll really cool off. And unfortunately, that also sets us up for freeze warnings. Notice our temperatures will be around freezing. So if you're in Nawada, Washington, Osage County, Pawnee County, Creek County, if you planted tomatoes, be advised. It's going to be a little rough for them tomorrow. 60s in the morning, or I should say in the afternoon. Gorgeous day tomorrow. And it'll be a chilly start on Saturday. So good Friday's good. And then Friday is or Saturday, a little chilly in the morning. The afternoon will be a mix of sun and clouds, and we'll be in the upper 60s to low 70s. Could be a very cool start, but a good start on Easter with 40s expected in the morning. Passing sprinkle maybe by Sunday night, but for the most part, we'll be in the 70s. And Easter Sunday right now looks good with partly cloudy skies and temperatures in the low 70s. As far as we're concerned, not too bad. So Saturday and Sunday both look the same. So if you're going to do some Easter egg hunting on Saturday, great. Easter looks great. And any chance a shower should be limited. And the jet stream's calm for now, and hopefully it'll stay that way, giving us only a slight chance of showers by Monday. So our forecast... Fantastic. Uh, temperatures will be in the 50s tonight. Not so fantastic if you have tomatoes out in the garden. You don't cover them up in the morning. If you're north, northeast, northwest of Tulsa, 30s. And then 60 at noontime. Extending the forecast out. Looks good for our Easter weekend for Good Friday right on through Easter. Slight chance of showers Sunday night into Monday. Next week, pretty amazing. And that's your nine-day planner. Back to you.